Welcome back to BYU Sports Nation live from Studio B. Another guy who can handle basically any situation you can dream up of uh, is BYU baseball coach Mike Littlewood on What's the up? Deseret First Credit Union hotline. Coach, it's so fantastic to be talking baseball. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling so good, except when I look outside, then I, when I look on the news and see Austin has uh, the same amount of snow as we do. So, And that's where we're headed. But um, I'm feeling good about things, yeah. Yeah, BYU baseball is working through the snow. And like you said, we didn't know that it was going to be following you to Texas. But just out of curiosity, how's the heated field looking at Miller Park right now? Uh, you cannot see any turf at all. It's all snow. But but uh, we'll, we should be able to see a little turf at, at about 5 p.m. Although we're so lucky here to have the indoor practice facility that um, we can do full scrimmages in there. And that's where we'll be today. And it's just it's awesome to have that. Okay, you're headed to Texas, like you mentioned, to play Texas State. We're going to call this the Eric Mateos Bowl since he was at Texas State and then BYU and now he's at Baylor. But uh, then you're playing uh, UT, a big one. Uh, you know. So there is a bit of news, though, regarding Friday's game. Do you mind telling us the latest on the shifting of the schedule? Yeah, I actually just got off the phone with uh, Coach Trout at Texas State. They, they shut down school through Friday just because of the weather and the power outages and different things. A lot of their players don't even have power in their apartments and so they're kind of dealing with that they had he sent me a picture they had like four to six inches of snow on their field which is wow it's like it's a one in a hundred year storm I mean it's just crazy and so um it, it was supposed to be really cold on Friday and I think it's a good decision so we're going to just basically bump our Friday game to Tuesday so we'll still play four games but we won't play Friday we'll play a doubleheader Saturday starting at noon Texas time and then it gets pretty tough we'll play uh Monday Tuesday at Texas State and then we, we were supposed to have Tuesday off. And then we'll go Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday at Texas. So it's uh, going to be a full week of baseball. We're warming up our arms just in case. Yeah, do you have <laughs> enough pitchers for that? <laughs> How's, yeah, how we'll is... get two more flights if you guys can throw. <laughs> I, I promise you. How is the pitching staff looking? Because we know that at this level of baseball, when you get into the college ranks and certainly minor and major re, uh, league ranks, that it, a lot of it is pitching. So what's the pitching staff look like right now? It looks really good. The, the only uh, we have a little ding with Tyson Heaton, who's one of our top six pitchers, started a couple games as a freshman last year. Um, he's out for another week or two. Just kind of he he uh, came back from COVID, did some things too quickly, and so he's got a little bit of an issue. But he'll be back with us in a couple weeks. Other than that, we look great. Um, this is the most depth we've we've ever had since I've been here. Um, we have a lot of guys who have great velocity, can have good command, can really really pitch, and I feel like we have probably a dozen options to go to in games that um, that I really feel comfortable in getting guys out. Sometimes you're like, you send a guy out there and you're like, oh, please hit it to us. It's going to get hit, but please hit it to us. That's our <laughs> only chance. But but these guys are different, and we got different guys, uh, a couple left-handers in the low 90s, uh, Mabius and Co uh, Cooper McKeon and Boston Mabius. And, and we, we, we just have, uh, I like our well-rounded staff. So we just need some experience, some Division One baseball experience. Who are some of the newcomers that stick out that will have an impact this season? Well, I think Boston Mabius is on the on the pitching side is going to be one of them. He's a left-hander, return missionary, 90-92, really good 12-6 uh, curveball, developing a good change. He'll spray it around just a little bit here and there, but but um, he may start one one of the games at Texas State or Texas. We, we haven't decided that yet. He'll be a key for us. Uh, on the offensive side, Cole Gamble. Uh, transfer from went to Lone Peak High School. Transfer from Salt Lake Community College. We'll start in right field for us. Uh, six four, good uh, left-handed hitter, uh, really good defensive outfielder, and and so we're looking for uh, big things from him. But you look all around our our field. Even Hayden Latham last year, who was two-time conference player of the year in JUCO and like preseason um, All-American JUCO, he came and struggled a little bit last year. We just but he's looking really good this year. It's just experience. The one nice thing I'll say is our hitters over the fall and early early winter right now, since January when we got back, they're facing incredible pitching every single day. So there's really nothing that's going to surprise them when um, when they step on the field and face Texas or Texas State, who are really two incredible teams. So And then Oregon State and then Utah. So it doesn't get easier after this. BYU baseball head coach Mike Littlewood with us on BYU Sports Nation. Coach, how would you sum up the emotions and the atmosphere of the locker room right now because it's been... My lights just went off. Okay, hey, motion detector. <laughs> Let's get some you, light back on that beautiful face. Really still, wow. <laughs> How would yeah. you sum up it the... It does that every once in a while. Yeah. 
the the emotions and atmosphere of, of a locker room that hasn't played against another opponent really in what feels like almost a year. Yeah, I mean, they're ready to go. They really are. It, it seems, uh, who was it? Danny Jelich came to me yesterday. We were, we were in the IPF hitting. He goes, man, it seems like it seems like two years since we played. And I had a couple of players say that to me yesterday. And just that, and we've heard, we've heard a couple, interestingly enough, we've heard from a couple other coaches that have, have talked to our staff and said that their first couple games out, they, they didn't see the energy that they really wanted out of their teams. And so we had a little bit of a talk with our guys like, hey, this is hopefully at this point in life after this last year, you, you don't take one day for granted. I mean, you're going out every day is a blessing that you get to play, put a uniform on and play this game. And so um, I think the excitement's there. Um, I think we're ready to go overall. You were picked fourth in the preseason poll, but no individuals were put on the preseason team. Was that seen as a slight at all? Well, if you look at our stats last year, I wouldn't have put anybody on either. Um, we, we hit 200 as a team, and I was surprised we were voted fourth, to be honest with you. And, and I I never uh, – you guys know this. I don't really – I don't even look at those. I don't really care about them. In fact, the, the worst year we ever had, we were voted first, if you guys remember that. Mm -hmm. and, yep. uh, so it's it's all about how you end. And I'm, with our tough schedule that we've got – um, after this Texas trip, we go to Oregon State, and then we what, what's going to be kind of fun, and hopefully we'll we'll allow some fans in. We play Utah on a weekend series, which we haven't done since because we're not in the same league. So we're always playing Utah on a midweek. So we're throwing our bullpen against their bullpen, and now we get to face face them head to head in a in a three game series. Our best pitcher against their best starters. Um, so it's going to be kind of fun that way. What's the coolest bat, or who ha gave you the coolest bat behind you? Well, there's one from Dominican um, that they use. That's uh, kind of a, a bat that they use. It's like they use this with um, with these little uh, kind of like bottle caps that they throw. They'll move a lot. Um, wow. So this is kind of a cool one. Yeah. And then the one I remember the most. This is an interactive is interview. It's, it's a skinny fungo that, that I got when I was at Alta High School, and we got invited to uh, – Alta wasn't very good a couple years before I got there, and we got invited to this tournament in Anaheim. I think it was called, um, gosh, the Top Cards or something like that. Anyway, it was uh, – and we got this fungo. And I, when I first got this fungo, I thought, I'm going to keep every, every new fungo I get and just keep a collection. And so over 30 years, that's what you see behind me. So Awesome. Fantastic stuff. Mike Littlewood with us on BYU Sports Nation. Heaven forbid you have to deal with the COVID postponement or even cancellation in the approaching season. But what are the protocols in place if somebody does test positive so that you can hopefully keep playing and keep that player or players in isolation? Yeah, so baseball is is kind of a, a mid-contact sport. So we have different protocol than, than basketball or golf. We all have different ones. And so um, we, we tested Friday. We tested Monday. We'll get our results today. If anybody's positive, then we contact Trace, and then they go into quarantine for the spe specified amount of time. I think it's 10 days from first symptoms and um, bump somebody else on the travel squad. And if anybody, we really try to hound the guys. You know, it's just a way of life now that, that you wear these. That's just part of, part of the deal. And so we really try to hound them at, at practice when you're anywhere except on the field. You're, you've got your mask on. That way, if somebody tests as positive, and you contact Trace, then you can say, yeah, I had my mask up. I, I wasn't around them for 15 minutes and I'll, you know, answer all the questions honestly. And then you get to go. If, if you don't, um, then you get to quarantine as well. And so I think they understand the importance of all that. But I just told the guys, and I think they've got a, a good perspective of you wake up today, tackle today, and then let's see what tomorrow brings when we wake up tomorrow. And, and uh, there's going to be some disappointments. I know there's going to be some series canceled, I would think. Uh, we'll try to find somebody else to play, and if we can't, we'll, we'll play each other and, and move on and try to develop these guys the best we possibly can this spring. Coach, great to catch up with you. Let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma to take with you to Texas. Hopefully it warms up the weather down there and brings back uh, a lot of W's for BYU baseball. All right, thanks. Love you guys.